Hi, my name is Sheridan Gentili. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of South Australia. Uh, this year we trialled on task in Molecules to Tissues A. It's a first year core course in the School of Pharmacy and Medical Science. By the time we got to the end of the semester, we had 242 students enrolled in the course. The way I see on task is that it's a tool which allows me to generate an automated yet personalised email to my students. This is particularly useful when you've got a large class and it becomes a bit difficult sending a personalised email to all 242 students. Um, essentially how it works is that you collect data on your students, um, their engagement in class, so it may be whether they viewed a video in your learning management system and that data would be in a spreadsheet so let's say you've got a code zero if they didn't watch it and one if they have watched it then using the task you can write an email that then looks at that spreadsheet and so for every student that hasn't watched this video they'll get an email that says um, you know dear student hey I've noticed you haven't watched this video it's really important that you keep on track of this because it's critical for the next topic moving forward that could be half the class and the other half will also get an email but it will say something like we've noticed you've watched the video really great to see that you're engaging with the material this is a critical one moving forward so it allows those students who haven't been engaging allows you to contact them and give them a bit of information as to why it's important and what they can do to move forward and the ones that have been engaging it reinforces that positive learning um, strategy that they've developed So what prompted me uh, to use OnTask? Well, for a number of years now, I collect data uh, throughout the study period on student engagement, and then manually I go through and contact those students if they haven't been engaging to sort of, particularly around key trigger points um, during the semester, like census date, for example, or critical assessments that are coming up. Um, but because of the number of students, I often found that I was only contacting the ones that weren't engaging and I was, I guess, neglecting, I guess, the other group of students, which were the vast majority of them, that were doing a really good job and you just need that sort of, that encouragement to move forward. So OnTask has allowed me to, I guess, speed up that process so it's far less manual and it allows me to reach all of my students and give them a customised message to help encourage them in their learning. So having taught first year students for quite some time, I find that particularly in the first few months, they really need that touch point to sort of see how they're going. And so one of the things I really wanted to achieve using OnTask was to enhance that, um, I guess, the student experience in that first point so they can get a bit more personalised direction on how they're going, um, particularly if they're sort of in the middle and they're not tracking too well. Um, and it also opens up that door for them so that line of communication starts and they feel as though they've got someone here on campus that they can come and speak to because people are looking out for how they're going. It's quite easy for a student to feel lost in a class of over 200 students, particularly if they've come straight from high school where they're used to smaller classes. So it makes them feel as though you have that personalised contact and I think that's really important to learning. What impact has it had? Well, I think it's hard to measure um, the full extent of the impact. I know after the mail outs, I'll often get emails from students or I've had students come up to me um, after class and say, oh, look, I, oh, you sent me this email that said that I hadn't completed something. I'm really sorry, I'm just running a bit behind. And, um, so they feel as though someone's watching, um, but it's also opened up the um, doors, I guess, for conversations that a student may not have normally had with me. So I've had students come to me and say, look, I, I got your email, thanks very much. I know I'm not tracking really well in this area. Can we talk about some learning strategies? So I think it's had a really positive effect on student outcomes. We've sent some surveys out to students as well to collect some more data, and I can't share that um, with you right now, but again, it seems to have had a positive effect on student morale moving forward in their studies. I think using OnTask has forced me to rethink how um, I structure my course um, because the I guess the aim there for me was to be able to collect as much information as I can um, without me having to do any additional work. So I did have to think a little bit of how I've structured and what are the key I guess pressure points within my course. So I guess in the first instance, in some ways, I 
I had to spend more time. So I don't want to say it was harder, but I had to put a bit more time into thinking about how the course is being delivered. But long term, I think once you sort of get that right and you know the pressure points and you know your critical dates, it would definitely um, reduce, I guess, some of that load and would have a beneficial effect on the stream outcomes. So if I were to sit down and chat with someone about using one task for the first time, I would definitely say you need to have a really good think about your course and the structure of your course. Um, know what's important in terms of key concepts or learning activities and if a student doesn't complete that, what impact does that have? Knowing that kind of information that allows you to pull engagement data about that and generate an email um, that can be sent at a critical point through your semester or study period that will have maximum on the student. So knowing your course and I guess looking at your course through a different lens. Overall I'd say it was minimal time and effort but if I'll be honest the first time I used it probably required um, a bit more of um, my time than the second time I used it. I wasn't as familiar with how to nicely sort of structure the, the email with the different conditions and rules etc and um, uploading the student database and um, just getting all that right. But overall, I wouldn't have said it was any more time or more effort than the manual method that I'd been using for the previous six years. I don't think you need to be very techy to uh, be able to use on task successfully. If you're familiar with using Excel spreadsheets and learning management systems, then it'd be no more complex than that. Everything has its quirks, so once you sort of go through the instructions the first time or watch an instructional video the first time, it then becomes semi-intuitive, so not too hard. 